The James Webb Space Telescope is shaking the very foundations of cosmology, and not even Nobel Prize-winning physicist Adam Rees is surprised. In fact, he's convinced our understanding of the universe is flawed. The cosmos isn't playing by the rules. It's expanding far faster than current models predict, and that mysterious mismatch, known as the Hubble tension, is now one of the greatest puzzles in modern science. But what's really behind this cosmic contradiction? A bold new theory from scientists at the universities of Bonn and St. Andrews might finally have the answer. But there's a twist. It challenges the very essence of what Newton and Einstein taught us about gravity. That's right. To solve one of the universe's greatest riddles, we might have to rewrite the laws of physics themselves. As Webb peers deeper into space and time than ever before, it's revealing massive galaxies that shouldn't exist. Giants that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. According to the standard model, galaxies of this size simply don't have enough time to form so early. It's a cosmic paradox. But maybe we've misunderstood what we're seeing. A new breakthrough suggests that these so-called galaxies might actually be something entirely different. Supermassive black holes. These gravity monsters, devouring matter and blazing with energy, could be responsible for most of the light detected, not billions of stars. That means these objects are smaller, lighter, and far less disruptive to current theories than we feared. The mystery may not be solved just yet, but the picture is getting clearer, and the James Webb Telescope is just getting started. We might be close to solving one of astronomy's biggest riddles, the mysterious early universe-breaking galaxies, but while the latest theories offer hope, they also leave us with more questions than answers. And unfortunately, that's not the only cosmic conundrum shaking the foundations of astrophysics. There's another problem, bigger, older, and even more baffling. It all goes back nearly a century when Edwin Hubble made two groundbreaking discoveries. First, he revealed that the Milky Way is just one galaxy among billions. Then came the real shocker, those galaxies are racing away from us. This cosmic motion meant only one thing, the universe is expanding. That revelation gave birth to the Big Bang Theory, suggesting the universe exploded into being from a single point. But in the 1990s, astronomers noticed something even stranger. The universe wasn't just expanding, it was accelerating. Galaxies were speeding up as they moved apart. Enter dark energy, a mysterious force that defies gravity and fuels this runaway expansion dot. But here's the kicker. No one really knows how fast the universe is expanding. That's where the Hubble constant comes in. It's supposed to be the number that defines the rate of expansion. Simple, right? Not even close. Theoretical predictions using the standard model of cosmology give a value of about 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But real-world measurements? They tell a different story. Some suggest values over 73. The universe refuses to line up with our equations. This clash between theory and observation is known as the Hubble tension. And it's not just a minor hiccup. It's a full-blown scientific crisis, one that could force us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. Let's break it down. A megaparsec is about 3.26 million light years, and one light year is nearly 9.5 trillion kilometers. So when we say the Hubble constant is 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, it means that for every 3.26 million light years of distance, galaxies are moving away 67 kilometers faster every second. That's an eye-popping 244,000 kilometers per hour. But here's where it gets wild. Direct measurements using supernovae, red giants, gravitational lenses, and variable stars suggest the real number is closer to 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. That's 264,000 kilometers per hour and a massive 20,000 kilometers per H faster than what our best theories predict. This mismatch? Scientists call it the Hubble tension. 
So what's causing it? At first, many thought it might just be due to old measurement errors. But to test that, the James Webb Space Telescope re-examined the original Hubble data using its ultra-precise instruments. A team led by Nobel laureate Adam Rees analyzed Webb's most detailed observations from the past two years. The result? The tension didn't go away. It got even tighter. Webb measured a Hubble constant of 72.6 comma, nearly identical to Hubble's result. Two flagship telescopes, one clear message. The universe is expanding faster than our theories say it should. Ries puts it simply, if both telescopes agree, then our standard model of the cosmos might be missing something big. And now, the race is on to figure out what. Despite the mystery, Nobel physicist Adam Ries remains optimistic. For him, the growing Hubble tension isn't just a challenge, it's an opportunity. What if this cosmic puzzle is trying to tell us something new about the universe? Ries suggests the solution might lie in an exotic form of dark energy, an unknown particle, or even a fundamental flaw in our understanding of gravity. And that's exactly where things get really interesting. A research team from the Universities of Bonn and St. Andrews recently proposed a radical idea. Gravity might not behave the way we think it does, especially on the largest cosmic scales. Their answer to the Hubble tension? The Milky Way might be inside a supervoid, a massive, empty bubble in the cosmic web. Let's unpack that. In the large-scale structure of the universe, stars form galaxies, galaxies form clusters, and those clusters form superclusters. These aren't just randomly scattered like seeds in space. They're arranged in an immense, interconnected cosmic web. This web is made of filaments, huge thread-like structures of matter stretching hundreds of millions of light years. And in between these filaments are voids, vast regions with relatively little matter. Now imagine if our own galaxy, the Milky Way, happens to be sitting in one of the largest of these voids. This super void would distort how we see the expansion of space making it look like the universe is accelerating faster than it actually is. Essentially, we could be misinterpreting local cosmic effects as universal laws. If this is true, then maybe we don't need to rewrite all of cosmology, just rethink where we're observing it from. And that's a pretty mind-blowing possibility. As scientists map out the cosmic web, they found something peculiar enormous, nearly empty bubbles between the dense filaments of galaxies. These are called voids, and a groundbreaking study led by Sergei Magyarenko from the University of Bonn suggests that these voids might be the key to solving the Hubble tension. Working with researchers from the University of St. Andrews, the team proposed something radical. Our galaxy may be sitting inside one of these massive cosmic voids. To visualize it, Think of the universe like a cake, and our galaxy is trapped in an air bubble baked into it. Matter around the void is denser, and gravity pulls galaxies outward, toward the edges. From our vantage point inside the bubble, galaxies appear to be accelerating away from us faster than they should. But this might not be due to dark energy or flawed measurements. It could just be the illusion caused by our position inside an underdense region. This would explain the Hubble tension elegantly. But there's a catch. According to the standard model of cosmology, such large voids shouldn't exist at all. Matter, over time, should be distributed more evenly across the cosmos. Yet observations tell a different story. In fact, another research group recently identified galaxies 600 million light years away that are moving away from us at four times the speed predicted by the standard model. That's hard to ignore. Enter Pavel Krupa, a contributor to the study. He suggests the real issue may be our century-old assumptions about gravity itself. After all, Einstein's theory of general relativity, while brilliant, might not be the final word on how gravity works across the entire universe. To test this, 
The team used a modified theory of gravity in their simulations, and the results matched the observed data far better than expected. So perhaps the universe isn't expanding too fast. Perhaps we're just seeing it from inside a cosmic void, governed by a different kind of gravity than we ever imagined. More precisely, the theory at the center of this cosmic rethink is known as Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND. Developed in the 1980s by Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram, MOND was long considered a fringe idea. Yet today, in the era of the James Webb Space Telescope and cosmic inconsistencies, it's being looked at with fresh eyes. Unlike traditional models that require dark energy to explain galactic motion and expansion, MOND rewrites the very rules of gravity. It adjusts Newton's laws to account for the strange rotational behavior of galaxies without invoking invisible forces or unseen particles. But here's the game changer. MOND doesn't just explain galaxy dynamics, it also predicts the existence of enormous empty voids in the universe. And that is precisely what recent observations seem to confirm. If Milgram is right, and gravity really does behave differently on cosmic scales, then the Hubble tension may not be a mystery at all. Instead of multiple conflicting expansion rates, there would be one true constant, and the apparent deviations would simply be a side effect of our uneven cosmic neighborhood. But of course, accepting Mond would also mean abandoning much of what we've believed about gravity, dark matter, and the structure of the cosmos. That's no small shift. Will Mondi replace Einstein's gravity in the next generation of physics textbooks? Only time and more data will tell.